Okay, so in a previous video, we showed how to actually build these awnings. I used cedar that's gonna last a really long time, especially underneath the roof here in a soffit. So uh, I'll apologize, there's a little bit of traffic, so the noise is a little bit loud, but I'm gonna do my best. So how I attached these is I used like a little miniature lag. This is a SDS screw, but I used a five inch long screw and I attached through this ledger board up here and then down here on these corbels. So when I attached them, I was kind of, I held the whole awning and my wife pre-drilled the holes. It was very difficult because it's kind of heavy. So the more help you have, the better. Um, we pre-drilled them all and then I pulled the unit down and we actually siliconed around each hole and then we shoved it back up and actually mounted it. So where I mounted it was up in here, since I got vertical metal siding, I got these ribs, that's where I wanted it to go through. So I, pre I got a hole one here, I got one over here, and then I got one in each corbel down here. And the reason I wanted to go through the ribs is because on this one, I didn't flash it into the wall, I flashed the actual unit and then mounted it. See, this wall was all previously sided. It's metal siding, new, I didn't want to cut into it for these, and I wanted to add them afterwards. So I went ahead and did that, mounted it, and then I took a color matching caulk to go over them. So now I'm gonna kind of show you how I flashed the unit itself and where I did have to kind of create a cap for these corbels. Okay, so here's the corbel. This is the one point where, one of the points where it comes in contact with the siding. So the siding sealed, the windows flashed. I wasn't worried about the house, or I mean about the house so much because I got silicone around the hole and then I mounted it but I created these caps to kind of cap where water would run down the wall and hit here. These copper caps and then I siliconed them. You can kind of see. So if water comes down, it diverts both sideways. There's still this space in the window, so that's not a problem. And this is cedar, this will last a really long time. So that covers this part. Now up here, where if you were to do a head wood siding or something, I would have put a flashing up in the wall but I didn't build this on site. I built it on the ground and then mounted it. So what I did is I wanted to kind of seal this unit as much as I can. So I got a corner, like an outside, and wrapped the back of the ledger and up here on the unit itself before I mounted it. So what it does is this is okay. And then there's this space down in each in the siding in between the ribs so if water runs down behind it it's okay because it hits the window flash and runs out now where it hits the unit i went ahead and silicone where like in these ribs where the lags went so silicone here and then actually when i pre-drilled the hole i put silicone around it so that keeps all the moisture from going in the house the only place it can see the actual unit is when we get like heavy rain and it gets far down in here above here and like back here but that's okay so that's just how i kind of flashed this because this is all sealed here with like a foam gasket um, it's fully finished underneath as you can see and that's just how i mounted these awnings okay so i got this awning behind me and this is would be a larger awning like if you wanted to build one on a wall and side around it so this is how i did this one built it on the wall and attached to it and then flashed and sided around it so i'm going to just kind of show you how i did that okay so i got this flashing bent to whatever um, pitch i got which is like a 512 so it's on whatever that angle is, maybe a 22 degree. And I put this flashing on before this siding. So if you look at the siding, it comes up. I got this J channel and wraps around this wood up in here, okay? And the siding comes up in here and there's actually caulk behind the siding in here. So this is all sealed. And then this flashing mounted on top you know attached here with like gaskets in here so it seals that but where this flashing comes into the siding 
I put a slit into the siding just a little bit beyond this cut right here. This is the vertical cut right here. Put a slit here so I could take this flashing and slide it through it to this point. So when water does come here, drips and it goes down. So if you're gonna do like something, like some sort of porch overhang or whatever metal siding, this is kind of what you'd want to do on a wall. You take a, side, a flashing like this, a four by five, or a five by five, this is like five inches, and it comes up here like four inches. So it's fully up sealed in here. Make sure your, your paper, your whatever your house seal overlaps this flashing, and then you're good to go. So anyways, that's how I flashed this larger like an eyebrow roof or a larger awning, whatever you want to call it. And it's fully sealed and that's how you can do it with metal siding. Okay guys, so hopefully this kind of helps you. Just want to kind of show you and answer questions because we've had a lot of questions on how I've actually mounted this awning, how I flashed it. Um, so hopefully that answers you guys' questions and uh, just want to do this short video on kind of going over that because I couldn't do it at the time. It was bad weather and very difficult to actually mount when there's only a couple. So more help the better. And so until our next video guys, Josh out.